Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to the latest video and in this video newsletter what we're going to talk about is the use, it's a very specific technical video, about the use of first article inspection. So I have a number of clients who use first article, uh, spell it correctly, first article inspection. Like a lot of these things, we like to shorten it to a three letter acronym and they typically call it a FAIR. So here's the, here's the video. What is a FAIR actually for? Too many of my clients are using this technique as if it is a tell-all, brilliant technique that everything's wonderful about the process, we're gonna produce defect-free and everything's gonna be fantastic. And this single piece is the golden sample. Okay, so let's talk about what a first article inspection is really capable of doing, what it's for, what it's definitely not for. Now in order to do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a little product. Let's have a look. It's been a long time since I've done any technical drawing. Uh, but let's assume that what we're doing is we're making a piece. We're on your five axis machining center. We're machining a block with a round spigot on the end. So if I draw it the other way here, we've got the square block there. And there's the, there's the diameter sticking out there. So whatever you I've drawn that third, third angle, I think. It's been a long time since I did any technical drawing. But anyway, let's put some, let's put some dimensions on this. So we'll say that this thing has got to be, you know, 35 mil plus or minus 0.1. Same here. 35 mil plus or minus 0.1. The diameter here is, let's say it's 18 mil plus or minus 0.5. Uh, this thing, this is, this is 40 mil long. Okay, this thing here, this block is 32 mil. Okay, so I think I've got all my, I think I've got all my dimensions on there. So, okay, look, you've been asked to make this by one of your big customers. Here's the item that they've asked you to do and you've made a first article uh, in order to do the first article inspection. Now, it's one data point. It's just one single data point. So, what do you think this thing is capable of telling you? Well, all it's capable of telling you is that you made the item look the way the drawing wanted it to look. In other words, every feature is present. All right, so, number one, one of the things all features are present you know so let's 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 make it a little bit more complex let's say there's a little let's say there's a little cut out there you know it would be dead easy to miss that thing you know when you're programming your computer it'd be dead easy to miss a feature so all features are present okay and all dimensions are set 
correctly. And that's it. That's all the first article can tell you. And when I, make, when I say that, all dimensions are set correctly, what I mean is this. I asked for the block to be 35 millimeters. All it's telling me is I didn't accidentally punch in 34, or I didn't act accidentally punch in 36. In other words, it's telling me you're not, you're not a million miles away from where you're supposed to be. You're sort of in the ballpark. So you've made the thing look right, and it's approximately the right size. And that's it. That's where first article finishes. Okay, so what it doesn't tell you, let's get a pen that works. What it doesn't tell you, that your process is good. In other words, You're going to be defect free. It's not telling you your process capability. It's just telling you you're in the ballpark. It looks right and it's approximately the right size. If you want to get this, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to run 30. You're going to have to do a proper new product introduction. You're going to have to do a proper pilot run. Hands off. You want to see, of course, the distribution for each one of these. Maybe you only want the distribution actually for the important dimension. So maybe you could get your customer to say, well, you know, this is a critical dimension, this is a critical dimension, but you know what, the others we're okay about. That would be important information to know. But all you've done with the first article is you've taken one data point. Now hopefully, if your tolerances look sort of here, Hopefully your first article data point is going to fall in inside the tolerances so you're in the ballpark, all the features are present, that little nick's there, you haven't forgot to put it in there. Everything's pretty much okay as a setup. You've set it up correctly, that's it. Once you've done that, your first article is done. Too many people are going, oh, it tells me my process is defect free because everything was inside the tolerance. What else do they think? Um, oh, they treat it as a golden sample. That's another one. Let's treat this as the golden sample. Whatever that means. You know, so they, they're, giving this, they're giving this little process far too much credence. If you really want to know information about your process, you're going to have to run 30. And this is just the first step that says, well, I've set it up right. Let's switch it on and run 30 pieces and let's see what process capability we've got. But please keep your first article sensible. Use it for sensible reasons. It doesn't tell you that you're defect free. It just tells you that you've set up your five axis machining center correctly and that the program is doing everything that it should do. It doesn't tell you, for instance, that you've selected the right tool to, to do the, each process. So you might select the wrong tool, not get the process capability. You might so, so, you know, select the wrong tool. Maybe there's, a, maybe there's a surface finish on this thing and you get the wrong surface finish. So there's still lots of work to be done here once you've got the, the fare confirmed. But the, the fair just says, your program's okay. It's making the item that is on the drawing. Once you've done that, you're done. Use first article inspection correctly. Go run the extra 30, get your process capability. Then you can find out a lot about whether you're gonna make any money on this job or not, or whether you're gonna have lots of defects or not, and whether you've got work to do before you put the job live. Use your first article inspection properly. Make more money.